friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All of Ave Nails. Today we're going to be doing a comparison video of these five beautiful red toned berry creams from Zoya. And if you haven't seen the series that I'm doing this month, I am comparing a bunch of polishes from Zoya, about 25 polishes from Zoya that fit kind of in between red and purple and pink and don't really fit into one category. And so I started this series with a video showing you how I was grouping these polishes, kind of organizing them and splitting them up into groups that were easy to compare. And now I'm zooming in and showing you color comparisons up close of each of those groups. And so I'll link that playlist with the whole series up above in the cards and also down below in the description box. So I would highly suggest watching from the beginning, start with that video where I'm kind of giving you rationale behind each of the groups, and then dive in and watch each of these group comparisons. Um, but anyways, if you're ready to see a comparison of these beautiful five red toned berry creams, then stay tuned and we're gonna dive right in. The first polish that we're talking about today is Allison. Allison is actually from the Winter 2018 collection, the Jubilee collection, and so this was not in my original video because it hadn't been released yet when I filmed that video, and I'm adding it into this category because this is where it fits. So this is Allison. It is described as a plum toned ruby cream. All right, next up is Quinn, and Quinn is described by Zoya as a very rich berry red cream with purple undertones. This one is opaque for me in two coats for sure, no problem. And Quinn is from the 2007 Downtown and Uptown collection, which was the fall collection in 2007. All right, up next is Riley, and Riley is from the 2008 Fall Collection, which was the Pulse and Vibe Collection. And Riley can be described as a medium raspberry red cream with purple undertones. All right, up next is Vanessa. This one I just have a mini bottle of, and this one is actually from the 2009 Fall Collection. The 2009 Fall Collection was the Truth and Dare Collection, and Vanessa is described as a soft but saturated dark pink berry cream with red undertones. And the last polish that we're looking at today in this group is Yvonne, and Yvonne actually is interesting. On Zoya's website, it's described as a rich Bordeaux red cream, and so it does have a hint in that description that it's going to be a little bit whiny, a little bit purpley, but this one to me really fit into this category pretty well. I actually just picked it up in my Black Friday haul this year, and this one is from the 2017 Sophisticates collection, so it is relatively new to Zoya's collection. It's also relatively new to my collection. Collection. And when I saw swatches of this and saw it online, I thought that it was a much stronger red leaning polish. But when I got it next to this group, I really decided that it fit in here. It works with these berries. And so we're going to see it up close with all the other polishes. So here are the five polishes that we are looking at today, and I've arranged them kind of from the most berry pink down to the most red. So I think immediately you can see that Quinn and Allison stand out pretty far from the rest of the polishes in this group. Allison has definitely a lot more pink. It is a lot more berry toned. It looks very raspberry here. Quinn has a little bit more red, a little bit less of the kind of um, deep berry color that some of these others do. Let's look at Quinn up close next to Vanessa. I think you can really see that Quinn is a little bit less of this kind of deep red berry and it's a little bit softer. It's almost a little bit more like strawberry, whereas Vanessa has a lot of deep undertone in it. I'm going to pull aside Quinn and Allison for a minute so we can focus on these three and then I'll bring them back. All right, so here are Riley, Yvonne, and Vanessa. And these three look pretty similar down here. Um, Vanessa has a little bit more of a pink undertone compared to these two. So if I pull up Vanessa and Yvonne, you can see that Vanessa has a little bit more of a pink undertone than Yvonne. Yvonne's got a little bit more red in there. So these two are a little bit different on that nail. They're gonna dry a little bit different. Yvonne definitely looks a little bit more red. Vanessa's a little bit more juicy and pink. Yvonne and Riley, in my mind, are pretty 
identical. They're really, really close. I would say if you had to push me to find a difference, Yvonne is just a hair more purple and Riley is a hair more red, but these are pretty close. I'm gonna say that these are not quite dupes, but they're close enough that you don't need both in your collection, especially since I think there are so many other colors in this category that you could pick from. So I really like Riley, I really like Yvonne, but I don't know that you're gonna feel a huge difference wearing one versus the other. I will say Vanessa sticks out as being a little bit more pink, so I think if you were looking for a couple from this category, you could pick up Vanessa and then either Yvonne or Riley. Depending on how, you know, attuned you are to differences, Vanessa's gonna feel a little bit different than these other two. All right, so here we are again with all five of our polishes. I just wanna pull in some comparison polishes here. So another category that is in this series are deep red whiny purples, and Tony is one of the colors in that category, and so because because this is another red category, I just wanted to show how much more purple that category is. You can really see how deep and whiny Tony is compared even to Yvonne, which looked pretty deep in this group. So Tony definitely highlights how much purple is in that other group, and so these polishes really didn't fit in that one. LC is a really good example of a red coral polish. So these are reds that have a lot of pink in them, and they're definitely pink leaning reds, but even compared to Allison, which has a lot of pink in it, you can really see that Allison is much more of a berry shade. Gwyneth is a polish that I picked up in my Black Friday haul, and when I pulled it out in the bottle, I thought, wow, this one looks like it really matches this red berry group that I have, but I think that Allison is on the edge of how bright this group is. Gwyneth is much more red, and it's much more of a true red with some pink and purple undertones. It doesn't quite fit into this category for me. The polish that I had a hard time placing was Veronica. Veronica is really pretty. It has this really nice deep purple red, whiny color, and I did end up placing it in my wine purple category, but I just wanted to show you it here. Veronica is really close to some of these deeper colors, but it really does have a bit more purple than Yvonne, Vanessa, and Riley that are a bit more red. So if I pull these up close, here's Veronica and Yvonne, I think you can really see that there are some differences here. So I add Veronica to my wine category and I think it fits there better. It's really pretty, but it didn't quite fit in this category. All right, so I really liked all of these polishes, but I'm gonna say that my favorites are Allison, Vanessa, and Yvonne. These three, I think, really show kind of the variety of this category, and in these three, you don't really have any dupes. So these are my three favorites. I would love to hear what your three favorites are, and as I said before, definitely watch this whole playlist so you can kind of see from start to finish all of these groups and their comparisons. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. So if you like this video and you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and comment down below to let me know which of these polishes is your favorite. See you next time.